This video is sponsored by Skillshare. How to make a kid-sized puppet. To the puppet nerds of the world, this may sound absurd, but this is the place you need to be. We'll do an interview and then we'll stitch and glue, all of the dolls will make it shake. If you want to be in the know and to play like a pro, subscribe to Kutinger Puppets. So over the years, we've had tons of videos on how to make all different types of puppets. But today, I'm going to show you how to make a puppet for a little kid. In fact, this kid is only one and a half years old. Right, Fred? No. <laughs> yes, you are. Recently, I discovered that Fred loves puppets, too. The other day, she put some socks on her hand and started mocking me. That's how I discovered that she is also a puppet nerd. Fred, are you a puppet nerd? Not puppet nerd. No, not puppet nerd. <laughs> yes, she is a puppet nerd too. Now, I have lots of puppet patterns available on my website, but one thing that I noticed, even the smallest puppet pattern that I have, which is my snoof puppet, it's still a little bit too big for this little tyke right here. So this is one of the little simple snoof puppets I made using that snoof pattern. And as you can see, it's a little big for Fred's little hands. It'll be perfect in about another year or two. Try it, go ahead Fred, give it a try. Hello. Say hello. 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 <laughs> so today I'm gonna make a custom puppet for Fred. I'm not. Yep, you're gonna get your own puppet now, Fred. Fred, do you want your own puppet? <laughs> she likes saying no. <laughs> now beyond just making this a small puppet, there's two other criteria that I want to meet. One is of course making it very child safe. So I'm not going to be attaching regular features using glue. I want to use a lot of the safety materials, like safety eyes, safety nose, things that are often used in making a stuffed animal. The other piece of criteria is to make it washable. Now I plan on making another video in the future on how to take care of and maintain and clean your puppets. But for this case, I really mean being able to throw it into the wash. Now all that really means in this case is I don't want to put a lot of foam in it and to not use too much glue as the main attachments. Let's get started. Fred, first thing I need you to do is pick which color you want, okay? Okay. Okay. I have a couple colors to choose from. I have this pink. pink. I have yellow. A yellow. I have lavender. Can you say lavender? Bye. And I have purple. Purple. Fred, I'm going to put you in the middle here. Go ahead. These are the choices. This is all I have in stock for today. So go ahead, pick one. Do you want the pink, the yellow, the lavender, or the purple? A purple. You want purple? Yes. Are you sure you want purple? Purple. 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 Well, which one do you want? Pick one, Fred. Pick a one. A blue. blue. That's not blue. I'm all out of blue today. That one, I want blue. Okay, pick pick one. Pick one. Pick one. <laughs> you want purple? Yes. Okay, we're going to go with purple. All right, Fred, the first thing I have to do is make a pattern using your little hand. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, so Fred, we're going to put your hand out just like this. Look at your little hands. Okay. I'm going to wrap this around your hand comfortably. It looks like it would be about there. Let's see if that bled through. Oh, it did good. Now, also, we don't want to make it too long. So I think we're just going to make it about that high. So now let me just cut this out. This is just about three and a half inches wide. And let me draw a mouth on here. Now I'm gonna quickly just stitch along this edge and this edge and see if this makes a good pattern. All right, I just stitched up this edge and this edge. Now let's see if this is gonna really fit her hand well. All right, Fred, go ahead, put your hand in. Can you fit in? Let's see. That seems pretty good. Okay. I think I'm going to slightly round up a little bit, up to four inches instead of three and a half. So let's make this pattern. Fred, you're going to have like the fanciest puppet a baby ever had. 
Oh yeah. I'm sorry, she's not a baby anymore. You're a big kid, right? No. No? No. Oh, whatever. Alright, let's draft this out. So we want each side to be about four inches. So that'll be our center line. Okay, and this is supposed to be about nine inches tall for Fred's arm. So let me come down. Since this is four inches wide on each side, I'm gonna come down four inches too. That's gonna tell me about how big to have the mouth. I'm gonna come up just about a half of an inch from there. Connect there, and I'll connect here. I think that's gonna work out well. Let me fold it in half and cut it out. All right, now let's draw a mouth plate in, and I'm just gonna come in about right here. I'll give it a little bit of a chin too by coming in right here. Now there we have our pattern for the body. Now let's quickly use this to make the mouth plate pattern. I'll make a center line first. And then I'll just trace this on each side here. Now that we have these patterns, we can start to cut them out of fur. And Fred has joined us on the table now. <laughs> hey, where's the cap to that? You wanna draw? Go ahead, you can draw. All right, Fred, I'm just gonna need to borrow it for one minute so I can trace this. It'll take two seconds, then you can go back to drawing on it. All right, let me trace this out. Here you go, Fred, you can draw on it. Actually, why don't you draw on the floor while Daddy cuts this out? Of course, make sure to keep these tools safely away from kids. And for the mouth, I'll use some of this red felt. Before we move on, I wanna make the plastic pattern mouth plate. The plastic mouth plate is important for the operation of a puppet. It's gonna be pretty much the same pattern. I'm just gonna come in a little bit. And I'm gonna to cut to the inside. I'm just gonna use this bottom plate twice. Now let me trace and cut out the plastic mouth plates. We're gonna need two of these. Now if you've watched a lot of my videos, one thing you know that we typically do next is we stitch up this puppet, we stitch the mouth plate in, and then we glue these pieces in. But that's one thing I wanna get away from for this project. Since I want this to be easily washable, I don't wanna glue these mouth plates in. Instead, I'm gonna create a mouth plate pocket. So I'm essentially gonna put these in just like this, flip it over on itself, and stitch all the way around and through the middle. That'll kinda encapsulate it into this fabric. I'll do that right now. So I'm gonna stitch most of the way around and then I'm gonna slide those pieces in and then finish stitching. Yep, I'll start right there, Fred. You could do this much faster on a sewing machine, but today I'm just gonna do it by hand.
All right, now I'm most of the way around. Next, I'm gonna slide these two pieces in. So the first one just goes in like this. I'm gonna push it up into this top part, just like a little pocket. And then I'm gonna slide this one in, just like that. Now I'm gonna keep sewing. Thank you so much for designing that pattern for me, Fred. You're doing a really great job. All right, now that I've stitched this all together, you can see how it kind of acts like a hinge. Now what I want to do is a straight stitch right across the middle. That way the top piece doesn't accidentally slide down into the bottom. I'm gonna go back and forth once just to make it a little extra secure. There we go, that is the perfect mouth plate for this little tiny puppet. Now let me stitch up this body. All right, now that we have this stitched up and we have our mouth plate stitched up, we can stitch the mouth plate into the puppet. Now I highly recommend to line this up with pins first. Now before we turn Fred's puppet inside out, we want to tell you a little bit about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. And my favorite thing about it is it is curated specifically for learning. That means there's no ads, plus they're also always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I took an awesome class recently called Video for Instagram by Halise. This class teaches you how to tell an engaging story in less than a minute. One of the things she said in the class that resonated with me was, if you can show something or convey an emotion without having to talk or show text, then that shows that you're a strong storyteller. There was so much value in this class. A lot of these tips could even be used to write or film short puppet skits. So definitely check out that class, but there's a bunch of other great classes too. They have classes in illustration, graphic design, animation, and I even created created my own puppet building class too. My class takes you through an entire build from beginning to end, including the pattern making. And if you act now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on the link in my description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. We'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now you ready to open it up, Fred? Yes! Let's turn it inside out, here we go. We're gonna turn it inside out just like this. You ready, honey? Ready. Look. Oh, I can't even get my... Ready, ready, ready. All right, she's ready. Oh, Fred, I think it looks good. Put your hand in. How does that work? Nothing. Pretty good? Can you open and close the mouth like this? <laughs> you are a puppet nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, let me trim it so we can see the face a little more, Fred. You want to be able to see the face a little better, so let's trim some of this back. All right, Fred's puppet is now all trimmed up. Now let's give it some eyes. Like I mentioned before, I like to use safety eyes. These are safety eyes. They're little eyes that come with pegs on the back of them, and there's little stoppers to keep it from sliding off. These are much more secure than just gluing them. It's not necessary for professional puppets, but for anything that's gonna be a kid's toy, you definitely wanna do it. Again, these are the same techniques they use on making stuffed animals. Hey Fred, do you like these eyes? Yeah, eyes. So let's find a spot for these eyes. We'll put one there. 
kind of mark it. So I'll put just a little tiny hole there. You could use scissors to make a little hole, but you could accidentally cut it to be too big. That's why I like to use an awl. An awl is kind of like a screwdriver that just has a sharp point. That way you're not even really cutting or tearing the fabric. You're really just kind of opening up that mesh netting. So I'll put a little hole here and I'll widen that up. All right, now I'll put this stopper on the back so it doesn't pull through. Then lastly, I'm just gonna cut the little extra of that tip off so it's not just poking into her hand. You don't wanna cut that too low though or else the stopper won't stop it. Now I'll do the other eye. All right, and just like that we have two little eyes on our puppet. All right, Fred, your puppet is almost done. Now let's give it some hair. Do you want to give it some pink hair or some green hair? Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. A blue, I don't want one. You want this one? Yes. Okay, Fred has chosen the pink hair. Now rather than glue it, I'm just gonna stitch it onto the head. But first let me cut a little piece off. So look, ah, there we go. I've got mine on and you've got yours on. Hello! <laughs> Hold on, oh, close, it was upside down. Let me help you. Here, put it on again. You, you wanna trade? I just made you your own, just your size. The thing is, Fred, you can put mine on, but I can't put yours on, it's too tiny. <gasps> Very good, Fred. Here, can I do one and you do one? Here, I'll do this one. I can't do that one, it's too little. You want me to do this one and you do that one? Yes! <laughs> After all that, she... <laughs> kids, kids, right? Okay, let me see, again, Fred, I can't, I can't fit my hand in here. I'm gonna have to try to just crunch up the body. Hi, Fred! Hi, Fred, what's up? Hello! 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 Do you want to do this one? Well, that's it for now. We hope you enjoyed the making of this little tiny puppet. Be sure to check out PuppetNerd.com for puppet news and activities. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>